um, my wife's a psychopath. Bring on the women! Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. The first person we meet is Jackson, a 31-year-old plumber. He grew up with a single mom and three sisters and knows that women should all be treated with respect. The first bride we meet is Dominica, a 28-year-old makeup artist and a divorcee. And up next, we have Selena, a 33-year-old hairdresser whose parents weren't 100% supportive of that career path. Her dad also doesn't 100% approve of her impending arranged marriage and even though that's how he got married, seems like mom sweets with it as long as the dude's rich. Andrew has been living in Australia for the last 5 years and is a 39 year old motivational speaker who has motivated two people to marrying him before. Then comes Brent who we all remember as the foot phobic guy from the trailers. Brent just wants to cuddle. He is into being the little spoon. Al is a party boy who lives life on the edge. Al rates himself an 11 out of 10 and he's never been in a relationship before so he signed up for an arranged marriage to remedy that. Okay. Holly is a 36 year old woman who can't believe she's this age without a husband and a baby. Girl, it's possible if you can just broaden your scope from Australian borders, it's everywhere. Then we meet Mitch who is an objectively hot person who likes to avoid the fact that he's an objectively hot person. Basically, Mitch is full of himself. Connie hopes that he learns to love herself through the process. Aww. Then we meet Tamara who knows what she wants in life and love. We cut to single mom, Celine. She is divorced and her son is her main priority. We close up the meetups with Anthony who is a salesman and by night a wrestler. Tamara is matched up with Brent. Brent was living his best life in Dubai before COVID. Tamara's a career woman who moved to Queensland. Tamara is telling us Q Christina Aguilera what a girl wants, what a girl needs. Meanwhile, Brent just needs some good, fresh feet that he never has to look at, touch or think about. When Tamara and Brent come face to face at the altar, it starts out wonderfully. She's actually happy with the outcome, which seemed impossible for a moment there and he's stoked too based off the looks alone and the fact that her dress is floor length. After Tamara's vows about herself and the pick on the lips, she asks what he does for work and Tamara evil laughs calling herself a bitch. Amidst all that, the photographer has now asked for a Cinderella moment. Brent is literally freaking out. Believe it or not, another wedding took place between Celine and Anthony, but it was a snooze fest. So back to Brent and Tamara we go. Tamara offends Brent with her crooked ambition measurements and says she's been embarrassed before by dating someone in retail. Brent and his bestie aren't having any of it, which is a good thing. There's knowing what you want and then there's being downright rude. While Tamara complains to her friend that Brent might be too short, Brent tells the camera and I quote, I think my wedding is going well and by well, I mean my wife is a psychopath. Um, my wife's a psychopath. Brent's completely upset by his wife's remark saying Tamara is spoiled, pretentious and entitled and I couldn't agree with you more. Well, that's one way to start the season. What were your thoughts on Tamara? Let me know in the comment section below and until next time, see you soon. Hey Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.